we're talking about the carnal mind and the, ver uh, and the spiritual mind, and we find out the carnal mind is death, and it's also enmity against God. But the spiritual mind is life and peace. No brainer, what do you want to pick? Life and peace, amen. And then yesterday we found out that there's a maturation process that we need to go through. We need to grow up into him. We found out that in 1 Corinthians chapter 3 that you can be a carnal Christian. Paul even calls them carnal Christians. Why? Because they're babes. They haven't grown up into Christ. And we found out in, in uh, Second Peter, no, 1 Peter chapter 2, it says that... Um, it says that we need to feed on the pure milk of the word that we may grow because we're newborn babes. The pure milk of the word is for babes in Christ. But look with me at Hebrews chapter 5. And um, look at verse 12. It says, though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again the first principles of the oracles of God, and you have come to need milk and not solid food. Now see, these people are supposed to be mature. Mature to the point that they're even teachers, teachers of this word. Why? Because again, I need to be spiritually minded, not carnally minded. How do I become spiritually minded? I need to know the word of God. And again, I'm going to pick, tomorrow I'm going to share some more of that. But here's the thing. I need to know the word of God. I, I should be teachers of this. Why? Because we're supposed to mature into Christ. It says, but no, you need pure milk of the word again because you are not, watch this, you are not skilled in the word of righteousness. It says, for everyone who partakes only of milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness righteousness for he is a babe. See we can't stay a babe. We need to mature. More important than that we need to learn how to operate in the spirit and not in the flesh. Again why? Because the spiritual mind is life and peace. The carnal mind is enmity against God and it's death. And it says, but solid food, now it's going to talk about solid food. And this word of God, this Bible, is the solid food. It says, but solid food belongs to those who are of full age. That is those who by reason of use, mentally, you, you take a... a you, you make a decision mentally by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Now once again what senses are we talk, talking about? The senses of the, of the natural, the carnal senses? The, the one that I see, hear, taste, touch, feel, smell with? No, this is talking about those who are Christians are mature and we have our spiritual senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Now again, um, the, the church needs this desperately. For instance, in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, the Bible talks about the gifts of the Spirit. The gifts of the Spirit, not the gifts of of. of the body or the gifts of the world. It's the gifts of the spirit. Now, so how do you think you're going to operate in the gifts of the spirit? By being in the spirit, by being spiritual. And we have to understand, one of the gifts is discerning of spirits. See, and again, if you don't have that part of your life that's active and mature, you're going to get caught up in some other kind of crazy uh, idea about what spirituality is. Or even if you come in contact with a, a power or principality or a demon or something, you're not going to know how to deal with it. But we know that we who are mature understand the word of God that says that I'm more than a conqueror. I'm a world overcomer. I'm heir to the throne of God, joint heir with Jesus Christ I, I, and, and all the rest that thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph through Christ Jesus and God makes all things work together for the good for those that love him and are called according to his purposes. All these are scriptures that you and I as mature Christians should know and so there should be no fear. Why? Because even the Bible says God didn't give you a spirit of fear but gave you a spirit of love and power and a sound mind. That's how we're supposed to operate. And how does that happen? By having our mind renewed to the things of God, which is operating in that spiritual mind rather than the carnal mind. We cannot remain carnal Christians. We need to mature, grow up into him.
And again, tomorrow we're going to pick this up. I'm going to show you exactly what we need to do in order to accomplish that. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. Jesus loves you and so do I.